is it a race against time to roll out booster shots in the Philippines? To discuss, joining us tonight, Lulu Bravo, Executive Director of the Philippine Foundation for Vaccination. Dr. Bravo, welcome to The Big Story. Good evening, Gretchen and Robbie. Thank you for having me tonight. Mm, I mean, Dr. Bravo, I mean, a lot of people, they, we started getting, giving shots around March. People are starting to count six months from that time. Uh, ano po ba? Kailangan na po ba natin ang booster shots? Well, this is something that the scientists have been long studying. You know, we have only had one year of uh, vaccination abroad, right? Mm. December, wala pang ang one year. And right now, they're seeing that after six months, there is really indeed some form of waning immunity. And it's not only in one vaccine. It's almost in all vaccines that we have used. Pfizer, I, uh, wala pa sa Astrang uh, reports, but Pfizer and Moderna have already announced that they're going to have booster doses. For Sinovac, that is also being reported by Chinese officials, health officials. You know, I got Sinovac and I have now uh, my seventh month. I have not had my third dose yet. And I'm really expecting that I will be receiving my third dose in any time now. Okay, but in the meantime po, although sa NCR medyo mataas na yung mga fully vaccinated natin in the rest of the country, we still have about more than 70% of our population na hindi pa vaccinated, wala pang first dose. So, how do we prioritize between giving booster shots and, and taking care of those na wala pang kahit isang shot? You know what, Robbie? The good news is that, yes, almost 80% of NCR are already vaccinated. But in the provinces, really, we need to have equity. Yung lahat ay mabigyan, hindi lang yung nasa NCR, but also the provincial uh, population, sabi nga nila. And what I heard so far is that ang problema is the distribution and maybe the storage or maybe people in the provinces lack the awareness or lack the necessary information but it is now available and they can already avail pwede na po nilang magpabakuna sa mga probinsya kasi dinala na rin yung bakuna doon and this is what the experts and the government of health officials are really trying to do to give vaccines to everyone that is what we call vaccine equity unfortunately not everybody as is ano nga is as uh, yung pagdistribute yata ang nagpo-problema and uh, some people really need to, to be aware. Paano ba natin mabibigyan ng equity? Sa so, NCR, maganda kasi halos lahat ng ating mga municipalities are already big on distribution. And sabi nga natin, meron pang nagre-report na 100% na ang kanilang uh, distribution. At yung 100% ng adult population nila, eh sigurado na. Kaya nandun na sila, high na high na silang magpagbigay sa kanila mga pediatric patients, right? Okay, Dr. Bravo, maraming salamat po. That was Lulu Bravo, Executive Director of the Philippine Foundation for Vaccination.